Hello guys, compliment of the season. I believe you are having a great time in this very period. You are once again welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to draft your patchwork button down shirt or a men's shirt with a contrast placket. So if it is something you are interested in, please don't go anywhere. Stay with us till the end of this video and learn a secret in how to draft a patchwork button down shirt or a shirt with a different fabric as a placket. If you are new to my channel, you are warmly welcome. And if you are an old subscriber, thank you for coming back once again and still being with us till this very moment. So if you are new, kindly subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified immediately. Now, without a further talking, let's get into the video properly. So these are the required items we will need in sewing our shirt. We will first of all need our straight ruler, we will need our chalk, we will need our French curve, our scissors and the fabric we are going to use in drafting and sewing our shirt and our hip curve as well as well as our tape measure and the measurement we are going to work with is the shoulder is 18.5 the around bust is 44 the around waist is 42 the around hip is 45 the bicep is 15 the armhole is 19 the sleeve length is 25 the sleeve cuff is 9 inches and the full length of our shirt is 29 inches so let's get into the drafting. Now I'm going to lay my fabric like this and then I'm going to fold to get my front frame. So guys, if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. So from the tip of my fabric, I'm going to mark in by 1.25 like this. This line consists of my placket and my overlap. So my overlap is 0.75 and the remaining half inch is going to be for my sewing of my contrasting fabric so i'll come further and mark my hip divided by four and then add half inch sewing allowance to it so the value i have there i will take it up and i will mark like this and set the crease line by using my iron to press it down now i'm going to straighten the rough edge of my fabric and then i'm going to impute my length of my shirt which is 29 inches and i will add one inch for sewing allowance so it's going to be 30 inches and i'll come further and then i will mark the same value and then i'm going to rule my length like this now I'm going to impute my chest line, my waist line, and then my hip line. To get my chest line from the very end, I'm going to divide my bicep by 2 plus 2 inches. And then I'm going to mark it like this. And I will come down to find my waist line, which is 17 inches. And I will mark and come down further and mark my hip line as well which is 25 inches so i'm going to connect my lines together like this and you can see this my chest line my waist line and my hip line and the last line is going to be my hem line now from the center front i'm going to deduct my 1.25 that i marked before and i'll go up and mark the same line and then connect the line so that line is going to be for my overlap and my placket as you can see me writing on my fabric so now i'm going to impute my neck width which is 2.5 and i'll come down by the length is going to be three inches and i'm going to connect a curve for my neck circumference like this so now i'm going to mark my shoulder width which is 18.5 divided by two and i'm going to mark it like this and then I will come to the chest line and mark the same without any allowance. Mark this properly in your head. So from that starting line, I will come down for my shoulder slope by two inches and I will connect it to my neck 
line like this now from my shoulder line i will come down by half inch and then i will measure from that half inch to my chest line the value i have there i'm going to divide it by two and then i will go in by one inch and then i'll connect it to my half inch i mark newly like this as you can see and i'll bring in my french curve to connect this line to my chest line like this this is our front armhole you can see how beautiful it is so now i'm going to impute my chest circumference divided by four plus half inch which is going to give me 11.5 okay I'll mark it like this and I'll come to the waistline and divide my waist circumference by 4 and I'll add my half inch sewing allowance to it like this and I'll do the same for the hip divided by 4 plus my half inch which is the full fold of our fabric and then I'm going to connect my markings with my hip curl. Now I'll come to the down part of the side and I'm going to create my style a line there so i will come from the hemline by two inches like this and then i will use my armhole curve using this part of the armhole curve like this you can see me placing it like this to create my style line like this you can see so this is our front and it's ready you can see our uh, shirt has taken its place so guys i'm going to do the cutout so guys, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly do so and turn on your notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified. So this is our front part and I'm going to slit through the front, center front. So now I'm going to construct the back. Now to get the back, I'm going to fold my fabric, unfold and I'll make sure that uh, it's equal. Now I'm going to measure my hip to my overlap line this particular markings like this you can see what i'm doing over here so i'm going to put it in my head and i'm going to mark it to get my fabric exactly so i have marked my value over there and i have folded it as you can see me doing if you find any value in our video you can hit on the like button to encourage us to bring you more educative content like this so now I'm going to place my front panel on the folded fabric like this and then I'm going to begin my construction for the back panel. Make sure your front overlap by the placket and the overlap measurement. So now on the upper side what I'm going to do is I'm going to from that line I'm going to mark my shoulder weight which is 18.5 divided by 2 and I'll mark it on my back panel and then I'll connect it with the front so on my shoulder slope I'm going to mark it to the line I just drew and I will come down from that shoulder tip by one inch you can see what I have there and I'll come to I will take the value and come to the front part and I will mark it there and connect it like this. Now from the end point I will come down by 0 0.25 and go in by 4 inches and I will connect it with a curve like this. This line is very very important so make sure you look at what I'm doing very well because this help you remove a bulge at the back armhole area now i'm going to use my french curve to connect my back armhole like this you can see our front armhole is deep and our back armhole is wide out now on all those sides you can see i'm pointing out you are going to cut exactly the same without any additional measurement so let's do the cutout. So guys, if you find our video interesting, please don't forget to share our video to your colleagues, your friends who are already in the fashion world and looking forward to upgrade their fashion skills. So now let's draft the back yoke. This is the fabric I'm going to use for my back yoke and I'm doing the trimmings on the down part. So now from the 
down part I went up by 7.5 inches and I'm going to connect my line which is going to be the length of my back heel so I realized that my chalk is not showing properly on my kente fabric so I'm going to use this paper to do the illustration so I rule a straight line like this and went up by seven and a half inch as we mark on the fabric now what I'm doing here is I came down from the upper line by two inches and I went further to mark two inches as well so from the center front I will go in with my neck width which is 2.5 inches and I'll come further to mark my shoulder width which is 9.25 and I'll come to the end line and mark the same for my shoulder width okay I made a mistake here so that's the mark over there now what I'm going to do is to connect the two markings together for my back yoke width now from that two inches we went down with I'm going to mark it straight like this and connect my shoulder slope as you can see and extend the line out now from the neck tip I will go further and mark one inch on my shoulder slope line and connect it with my French curve I will now bring in my front panel and measure the length of my shoulder and the value I have there I'm going to bring it to the yoke and mark it from the curved line and from that shoulder slope I will still come down by two inches and connect that new mark to the new two inches I came down with with my French curve like this now our back yoke is now ready so I'm going to transfer it to my contrasting fabric and I'll be cutting two of this back panel okay so if you have derived any value from our video kindly hit on the subscribe button turn on your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video it will get to you immediately and don't forget to share our videos give us a thumbs up that encourages us to do more of what we are doing right now and also you can share our video don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section I really appreciate you doing that. Now you can see I'm cutting out the second panel for my back heel. Guys, if you are learning something from our videos, I will leave in the description box. You can go and check it out. There are a lot of educative content, pattern making and sewing tutorials over there that will help you to upgrade your skills so i'm going to identify the wrong part of my back yoke now i'm going to bring in my front panel and i will cut it into two but before that i'm going to identify the right chest and the left chest you can see me doing that okay so i will open it and slit it into two like this okay so I have slit it into two now I'm going to cut out my placket okay this is the fabric I'm going to use in cutting out my placket which is my left placket and my right underlay so what I'm going to do is I would like to use the middle design you can see it on your screen as i have put it there i want to use the middle design so from that part i will make sure it's going to be my placket so i will measure out from that white mark line i will measure out 2.25 and then i'm going to cut it through like this straight up okay that's going to be for my front and you can see me i'm trimming out the other blue part because I don't need it for now it can be good for another thing but I don't need it for now okay so this is going to be for my front placket I have marked the wrong part because the fabric is quite uh, contrasting now I'll be using this fabric the other fabric for my 
right underlay under the placket you can see the other one is um i will measure 2.25 but on this one it's not going to be the same we are going to mark 1.5 and i can see my 1.5 line and i'm going to cut it out so i'm going to mark the wrong part and bring in my front part which is the right part because that uh, fabric is going to be on the right part it's going to face like this okay this is how it's going to be so i will turn the back of that right and show you how it's going to be okay this this is it i'm going to let the good parts of the contrasting fabric face the wrong part of the front okay and i'm going to stitch it on it when we take it to the machine so on the left part this is how it's going to be as well okay this is how it's going to be when it is being sewn to it so as you can see on your screen this is the shirt that i sewed so i will bring in my paper fusion interface and i'm going to put it on the the fabric and i'll give it a light press so that uh, it will enable me to trim off the excess so now i am done with that and then i press it a little and cut out the excess like this okay now on the placket i'm going to fold in 0 0.5 which is half inch okay i'm going to fold it like this you can see me folding it like this so we are done with our drafting and folding of our placket so we'll go to the machine in our next video and i will show you how to stitch them together to form a beautiful shirt like this okay so if you find our videos interesting don't forget to subscribe to our channel turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified immediately and you can see video showing on your screen right now you can also click on it to see more educative content like this thank you for watching our videos but before i go remember upgrade is a must i wish you happy new year bye